Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I will show you or actually I will walk you through the week 4 or week 4 exercise of workout wellness day website. So as you can see we are taking up these exercises which is being weekly published and we are taking the old exercises of the workout wellness day. So it is the exercise which got published on the 2021 week 4. Right, so this is something what I will take you through. Previously, I have taken you through the uh, three different exercises. So this exercise is also based on the dashboard that we had produced here, where we have added the report interactivity. Now we are exploring the drill through exercise. Okay, so what is that? Let's view it over here. So over here, this is the Power BI drill through. You will find the link of this exercise on the description. Also, this link of where I am keeping all of my exercises along with their video link as well as exercise link is also present in the description. Here you have two tabs exercise and feature explainer where in feature explainer I have closed I have 196 videos that I have published so far. So you can utilize by simply searching and jump onto that video using the link given here. That way your uh, finding a video related to a relevant topic becomes easy rather than searching on my YouTube channel. So this is just to give you the flexibility. So make sure you bookmark it and use it whenever you need it. So with that, you have the Power BI drill through and uh, the the option, the uh, the exercise is based on the previously created this dashboard. So if you have not seen the previous exercise, look at the previous exercise, uh, the Power BI report interactivity. I will soon publish the link. Um, NCAA conference expense and revenue. So we will be looking at the drill through capabilities. So what is a drill through capability? Just an idea just to give you. So we what we have is you can see different conferences and based on a particular conference we want to uh, right click as you can see we want to right click and we want to drill through the school view. So when we click on the school view a new page gets opened which is specific to the school view based on what we select is the SEC, right? And you get the school view rather than uh, this view, what do you call conference view. So this is something what I, we were going to explain. That is from a similar view, if you want to look at a different dimensions or to dimension altogether, like from conference to school view, then you can do it easily. Okay, so what you have is basically this, uh, first thing first is you need to create a new tab called school view where you need to rep rep replace the conference ABB field to your bar chart which is school ABB which is abbreviation ABB is nothing but abbreviation which means there is a small value uh, or a short form of this okay so let's give it a name which is conference uh, let's right click over here and click on the duplicate page and uh, let's give it a name school okay so we have the school and from here i will just going to remove this previously created bookmark and this one slicer because this is not relevant right now we have the school view we have the conference view now to enable the drill through we need to make sure that a drill drill through or a relevant drill through field is present here so we want to drill it through the conference right so what i will going to bring is the conference abb okay so this is what the values are and this is what we have present in the main sheet. So make sure this is the configuration that wherever we, whatever the target sheet is, bring that field via or through which you want to come here or through which you want to drill in the target sheet. So in the target sheet, we have added the conference where now we can right click over here and we have this option enabled where we can click select the sheet where we want to drill through. So we want to drill through the school. Okay. So now the value is changed where we are only seeing the school, but we have not changed the school field. We are only viewing the conference since we have selected the B10 conference. That's why the bar chart is showing B10. And as soon as the drill through is present, the back button is enabled by default, right? So make sure you focus on that. And what I'll do is, I will just bring it here so that it is properly present here and maybe we can reduce it. So we can hold down to this and click, uh, hold down the control and click over here to go back. 
So we are back here. So if we, if I click now the spool view, you will still have this conference selected, and that's what uh, we will see as to uh, by changing the dimension, you will see a different view. So from conference, let me select this from conference ABB. Let me bring to the school dimension and select the school ABB, and that way our view will be better. Conference ABB, remove that bring in the school ABB and move this, bring in the school ABB. Okay, so we have this, right? Now let's again go back by holding down control and clicking it over here. We right click, select the SEC and click on the school. So now a different value is coming based on what we selected as a uh, conference over there. Also here, you need to change the title as well. So you can see I'll come here. We have the general title. Let's give it name school, right? Because this is not a conference, but school. So we are selecting this here. Let's see what, what else is basically asked in the exercise. So far, we this is what's been asked. Let me come here. Create a drill through from your summary view to school view. Yes, this is what we have already done where we have added the uh, drill through field conference in the school view and we were moving from summary view to school view. Add a card to allow users to know what conference they are viewing. So if you see, if we select, let's say ACC coming over here, right clicking and clicking on drill through. If we remember ACC, then this is what it is, but we want to explicitly uh, want to let user know that this is what you are basically selecting. So that's something, you know, we want to display. So for this, I will going to choose this card, right? And uh, I will then choose the conference name. All right. Okay. We need to reduce this by going into the formatting call out value let's maybe call it 20 yeah and we don't want category label uh, we reduce this right just so that we can maybe a little bit here we can place it over here right that will show what we are viewing so let's go back okay uh, now select WAC. So we right click over here, drill through school. So you are now viewing Western Athletic Conference. So that's something very much informative. And over here, you can call it school view and click outside and you have the view. So that's the requirement we have completed now. Make sure your slicers are not synced between two pages. So let's figure that out. Let's go over here in Power BI. And just to check that, we'll try to select something, let's say 2007 over here. And we'll go back here. So you will see the slicers are not in sync. Also, if I select 2010 over here, you know, it should not come here. So that means the slicers are not synced. The only drill through fields are present. So if I right click now over here, I think I'm selecting B12 drill through school. So it's all coming blank because what is coming from the uh, filters is 2010, even though I have selected 2007 here, right? If I select 2007, the field will come it over here. So that is something what is called the slicer sync, like based on whatever we are selecting as a slicer over here it should not be in sync so the way we can test it over here is using the sync slicer and you will see that you have these two slicers are not in sync so this is basically your sync option right where it's basically showing uh, whether they are in sync or not so by default the slicers are not sync if you want to make in sync then you need to enable that by selecting the slicer right selecting the slicer and clicking it over here this is the visibility view like you want to view you want to make sure that slicer you want to show it in the front end or not 
but this is where the slicers are in sync. So that, that is something you need to keep in mind. Like um, if you are coming from here, if you have selected something coming here and drilling it through, then those filters or those values will come over here. It, it does not mean the slicers in, uh, is in sync, but it means that this is what the value of this particular bar is coming because this is being uh, controlled by whatever slicers you have. So something to keep in mind when working it. So slicers are not in sync. That's something we have seen. Okay. Um, um, now, uh, this is after that. What is the next requirement? Figure out who contributed most the Mac losing so much money in 2016. Okay. All right. So first thing first is uh, either we selected over here 2016, right? Or we select over there. So let's select it over here first. Come to Mac, right click and drill through school. Okay, so by default, you will see that 2016 values are coming. And over here, if you will see, only 2016 is coming, right? So now here, clearly TOL is basically the school who is being losing a most, losing the most in terms of the uh, revenues over here or in terms of the total profit, right? So that's something you can uh, figure it out. So I'll go back. Now, this is something what's what's been given over there. Uh, let me just select everything or select like this. So this is these are the exercises. Now, generally, users or the new user especially may not be really aware that you need to right click, go to drill through and then school. This is something an experienced user would know. But we want to make this option very explicit to the users, right? Hey, you need to make sure the option is there and just select that. So how we were going to make sure that we have something over here, over here or anywhere, you know, which is relevant to your user where based on the selection, let's say I selected this, then they should be able to click on a button or something and uh, come over here and view this information, right? So that's something I want to show you as to how you can do that. If you are already aware or you want to explore, then pause the video or if you want to follow along with me with the solution, then here we go. So for that, what I will going to do is I'll come over here in home and not home, <laughs> insert uh, button and let me get a blank button. So here is this blank button which has come and I will probably make it like a little bit large okay now over here in the button we have the format button right we have the shape uh, and style we, we don't want to change any shape thing but style um, uh, let's just say drill through school okay or anything which is relevant in your so right now we want to drill through uh, drill to school based on selection yeah i know it may not be 100 percent perfect but this is just to show you the functionality all right so we have this button now right which what we want is user should be able to select anything and then should be able to click here and move it over here so that this option is explicit to the user. Okay. So let me select this button, come to action, enable the action. And now I'll select the drill through option, right? And destination I want to select is the school. Okay. So now anything, if I don't have to right click and do the selection, I just select, let's say East. And this is now enabled. I will control and click it over here. So now you see the Big East Conference in BEC, right? Now let's go back. Uh, let's select ACC and now control click over here. Atlantic Coast Conference and you select it here. So this is something I wanted to show you as an additional and more explicit option where you can configure a button 
for the drill through so that you can easily uh, basically tell your users that hey here is the drill through is present also if you see based on this selection all the values are changing and this is also enabled so you can have if you have one page or two page you can accordingly have multiple buttons over here or over here or over here based on wherever you want to put it and uh, give them this option so that is i believe is more user friendly rather than right clicking on it and then going through the drill through so that's something i wanted to show you in this video about how you can configure this and give the best experience to your user let me know how did you find these options and i'll meet you in the new exercise with a new topic